the Zambia Premier League must be divorced from the football chain of Zambia. It is simple. Fans should have nothing to do with running the league. For what? And that is a departure from the role, the biggest role of FAS. Once elected, our Football Association of Zambia is going to create a corporate entity called the Zambia Premier League Corporation Limited. Now, the Zambia Premier League Corporation Limited will be a private company that will be governed by a board of directors, which is an executive committee of different individuals of different backgrounds. These are lawyers, business persons, people of diverse backgrounds who have to govern the league. Now, who will be the owners of this private company? The clubs themselves. And we propose to increase the number of clubs in the Premier League from the current 18 to 20. When you create a company, now you can invite international reputed companies, auditing and uh, accounting firms, such as PricewaterCoopers, Deloitte, uh, KPMG, that can come and carry out an objective evaluation, a corporate uh, evaluation of the company and give its true market value. And it is only then that you can attract sponsors. Now, these 20 clubs will decide how to run their game without FAS. The only role that FAS will be playing in the Zambia Premier League Corporation is to hold what is called the power of veto. They'll have a say in appointing whoever will be chief executive officer because it is in charge of the game in the country. When you have a true commercial value of an entity, it is easy to attract a sponsor to put money in such an entity because they are assured of getting returns on their investments. This is how it will run. The Zambia Premier League Corporation will run the Zambia Premier League. Now, the Zambia Premier League will now be the competition that the 20 teams will be participating, the 20 clubs will be participating in. Now, the Zambia Premier League Corporation will implement a proper marketing strategy, a capital intensive marketing strategy that is going to beam a robust spotlight on our game to attract both local and international brands to put money in the league. But people have been asking questions. So you've consistently been proposing a company to run the Zambia Premier League. These clubs will own shares in the Zambia Premier League Corporation. What about those clubs that will be relegated? Yes, as you know, football is run on a promotion and relegation uh, principle. So companies, clubs, that will be relegated. Three clubs will be relegated every other season. will have to surrender their shares to the clubs that will be promoted every season. That's how it works. You leave and leave the shares to those that are coming. Now, why is the current FAS so scared of divorcing itself from running the league or delinking the league? They're scared because they don't want to lose 60 to 70 percent of their revenue. Because most of the money that FAS has comes from the clubs. Apart from what comes from FIFA, FAS has a serious earning power from the clubs. But can the clubs earn their money and invest it back into football? 
without having to look at how much should FAS be getting from here. Currently, we have three major sponsors of the league. The MTN is sponsoring our league. They are our headline sponsors. And they have been sponsoring the league for some time now. But how much are they putting in the league? That's a question that must be asked. I salute them because they were associated with football when it wasn't fashionable to be associated with Zambian football. We currently have Supersport. We also have ABSA, who are our sponsors. But we had other sponsors like Airtel Rising Stars, First Quantum Mining Limited. We, have, we had Samsung and others, Zambia Breweries Corporation. We are part of the sponsorship team that FAS was working with until Kalusha Walia left. We only remain with three sponsors. What are we going to do when this company is formed? This company will now be looking at clubs should survive. I don't accept, it is unacceptable that 58 years of independence, you have clubs, eight of them, in the Premier League whose major sponsor is government. It is unacceptable, it's shocking. Cabo Warriors are sponsored by government. Zesco United, Green Buffaloes, Red Arrows, Prison Leopards, uh, Green Eagles are all sponsored by government. Doesn't it surprise you? These clubs must try and find their money without having to rely on government sponsorship. Why should government be spending money on football when football should be making profits and football must be paying taxi to government? Football should be one of the biggest revenue earners of government. Football must be contributing big to the national treasury. Now government is spending a lot on football. Not just on the eight clubs that I've mentioned, but the clubs under them. Not just these clubs, but also the national team. The money that the national team uses <laughs> comes from government. We shouldn't accept that. I believe the Zambia Premier League Corporation can run football on a commercial basis and can transform football into a true money-making industry like banking like mining like manufacturing and pay tax employ people on a permanent basis that's what we are looking at in this era and age a club should not be relying on government and now we need to be thinking what has made these clubs continue feeding from the government instead of government feeding from them because government has sponsored these clubs in order for them to be playing football. And government has done that. Government has been bankrolling football for quite some time. In 1966, when the country faced one of the worst fuel shortages, government instructed service stations to try and allocate a bit more fuel to clubs in order for the league not to collapse. But this time around, the government must be looking at how to be bankrolled by football, not government bankrolling football. Football is one of the biggest earners in the world. But it's only our football. And we need to understand the true, the current worth of our football. And that can only be achieved by inviting an accounting or uh, auditing firm. They come, give you the true value of the, the true market value of our game. Then it is easy to sit on the negotiating table with potential sponsors. Give us the money. Look, this is what you get by giving us the money. Right now, if I, um, I, I, I can tell you that uh, uh, people have run out of the ideas now to run the league. And if the, 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 the Premier League is struggling, what about the lower leagues? How can you explain it? That in this era and age, clubs must be walking into shops to buy match balls when these balls must be supplied by sponsors. League balls can be supplied by sponsors and you are paid money for playing their ball. That's how it works in football. The Premier League clubs in Zambia are not complaining as their colleagues in the lower leagues. 
The reason is simple, because they are receiving money from Supersport and they are receiving something to the tune of $30,000 per season. And this money comes in two installments and it has to pass through FAS for FAS to give these clubs. Now, when we form this company called the Zambia Premier League Corporation, money coming from TV partners, and I don't think Supersport should be the only partner. We can have overseas partners showing our game. And I believe the Zambia Premier League will be attractive to even be beamed live in countries like Austria. And once FAS is divorced from running the league, money coming from TV partners like Supersport will go directly to these clubs and not FAS. FAS should not have a say in the money or the revenues coming from competitions, club competitions, for example. Uh, money coming from TV partners, money coming from licensing, coming from marketing and commercial rights should now go directly to the clubs. It shouldn't pass through the football scene of Zambia. There's nothing that you need to take to the football scene of Zambia. The football scene of Zambia will end from the clubs through disciplinary cases, red cards and yellow cards, a foul comments made by players on Twitter or Facebook, because now they'll sanction these players and these players will be paying fines. That is how to earn money from the league. You don't earn money from the league by getting what they are earning themselves. First of all, it is the clubs that play football. It is the clubs that should enjoy the money and not fans.